Hello everybody and welcome back to some rising world. We sure are rising up in this guys. Oh yeah, we sure are rising up. Ah, I got just enough windows here. There should be plenty enough here. Well, for window frames, we still have to go out and solve the problem of how many windows we need. Well, for glass at least. We're going to need a lot of sand. And I got just the place for that. Um, over in the desert, all right, now I don't know how this is going to affect me, so I'm going to probably get myself a bucket of water, and I'm going to drag that with me, we're going to get some food to bring with us as well, and there's a desert over out by the ba Badlands, we're going to head over there, and there we go guys, all the windows are in. All the windows are in. Oh my goodness, I didn't think I'd be able to get this done. But we got this building done. Now we do have to... We got a pig. We got a pig. Hi Mr. Sheet, how you doing? Here, don't mind me. I'm just going to clip inside of you for a moment. Um, oh, we were on top of them. <laughs> we rode the sheep. Alright, so yes, I do I have to head back out to the Badlands for a bit, and we're going to have to do some mining out there for some sand. This is looking good, alright? We still got to do that building over there, the side of it. Um, you guys got a glimpse of this over here. It's where the, um, it was a design that we made for the fire escape. And, you know what, I can show you guys this. And I'm not sure how this is going to work out if we hit F2. Um, how this fire escape is supposed to work is you be, you're supposed to be able to climb up here, walk up to this, walk up to that, walk into the building. So there's a total of three doors here. It's kind of glitchy at the same time as, well, anything else. But it's three doors. It's decorative only because we don't have a red door that we can put in there. And... You're supposed to be able to walk over to the edge, hop onto this ladder right here, and this will take you down to another floor. But right now, I don't have all that stuff in place, all right? This is basically the one side of the building. Now, I, I could take that ladder if I wanted to, but we have to design this for all of the floors on this place, guys, all right? So, um, basically, we need one of these for each floor i could take this door and move it over here to this side but it would be in a way of this apartment over here so i don't want that so i kind of want to be able to put one in, on each level all right so we'll have this door right here for this floor it'll come out um you'll walk across this way everybody will basically be able to take the ladder and just waltz well, just kind of not, not waltz, but you'd be able to go the entire way down, okay? Now, I know most fire escapes, they come across at a zigzag, and they go the entire way down, all right? What I want people to be able to do is to be able to walk over to the ladder and just go straight down, okay? So that's kind of the objective with that. I know it's going to be a little bit height wise maybe a little bit difficult to do so maybe we move some of the fire escape over to the other side of the building like over here on this side so we do got some space over here for some doors that we can do over here maybe i can pull off a zigzag where the uh we could take the fire escape and push it across the back instead and we can zigzag it along the back side of the building that's another thing that I'm thinking of doing right there. Um, what is that? That's a cow. Okay. Um, <laughs> had me wondering on that one for a moment. But you guys are still wondering, though. Where are we going to get all the sand? We just sheared you. What are you doing? Come on. Take a break. Go somewhere else for a little bit. Let's get ourselves a wee bit of water here real quick. I got that. Um, let's get these things put away. And we're going to grab a horse, okay? Let's see if we can find one that we haven't worn in a long time. Well, taken for a ride in a while. You know, I, I got some glass. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take my drill. We're going to place it right here. Let's go ahead. Let's take this with us. Uh, we really don't need any of these, but I kind of want to bring them with me anyways. But I have a bucket, and I can't seem to find it. 
So I'm going to have to go ahead and, you know what? We can keep looking. We can keep looking. I can dig through these and see if I can find this thing. It's got to be inside one of these chests. Let's see here. Do you, do you guys see a bucket in here? All right. A canteen, a bucket. I'm not seeing it so far. All right. Let's see here. Anybody see a bucket? I'm not seeing one. Huh. Where's the bucket at, man? We have a... We got one. I know we do. All our horses, they got saddles? Yeah, because we can't let them go just yet. I don't want to have them vagabonding away. All right, let's see here. Do we got a... We got one in here. You can see how much stone we got left. <sighs> well, I guess that's a no-nose. Okay, well, we're going to have to go out and find ourselves a spot for mining sand. I'm going to go ahead and take these with me. And we're going to use these because we have so many of these chests. I don't see why not. We're going to need these things for mining all kinds of things from sand to sandstone for building. Because I have an idea. Now, She-Wolf 501, I am going to be working on your house next. And your little manor home, I found a perfect spot for it. Okay? It's going to go right here. All right? You're going to be able to have probably a nice big size home that's going to go over on this side and like, there we go. Let's scoop up a watermelon from here. Um, yeah, I stole your watermelon. <laughs> your home is going to be like right here on the corner and it's going to be like a little bit different. You're going to have a nice deep basement. Okay. Now it's going to come out a little bit squarish. I think I'm going to make it relatively big. And just kind of make it like it's one of the biggest homes in this area. So we're going to see what we can do for that. I want to make it into like a nice big manor home. And we're going to work on that after we're done with this, guys. SheWolf501 has been a really good subscriber to our channel. And I feel like I owe this to them to just kind of get their home built. They've been asking for a... Could you shut up in there, settler? Thank you so very much. When I get some more of you guys, I'll uh, see what I can do for you. But for right now, we need oh to go ahead. We need to bring ourselves a bed with us, unfortunately. Let's go ahead. We're going to bring this with me. Of course, I'm going to need a place to sleep. But for right now, yeah, maybe we should. Let's just set that back down for a moment. There we go. You know, just for right now. And we're going to make a... A bucket. We're, we need a bucket. We need a bucket. We need a bucket. Now to make this bucket, we need the anvil. We're going to need three of these. And we're going to need a regular crafting bench. All right, let's go to utilities. Let's go to bucket. Okay, that's going to require one more. All right. That's a new one. All right. It takes four. I don't know why it doesn't take iron bars. You know, it, it it does have this thing right here. So, really, iron bars does sound like a necessity for it. Let's take a nap. And let's talk about glass, as I was saying. So, we need a place for gathering glass. And I have a place for it. Now, I'm going to use this bucket to scoop myself up a little bit of water from somewhere along our way. I could just bring this with me. I'm going to get myself a few blocks as well because we're going to need something to drink. We're obviously going to need some blocks to kind of block the water in. So I'm going to get a stack of that. Let's see here. Who do we have that we can bring with us? We got Gus. We got Snow. We got the Tess. We got Camel. We got Heidi. Um, Gus. It's been a long time, buddy. Come on. Let's go. What? Snow. Oh, don't be jealous. We'll ride you next. Okay, we'll ride you next. Um, do you have saddlebags? Yes, he does. He has saddlebags. Cool. Alright, so what we're going to do, guys, let's head on out. I'm going to take you guys all the way out to the Badlands, and I will meet you there. All right, guys, we're almost there. We're coming up on the GUE Shopping Plaza right now. Let's take a pit stop over here. Look at this, guys. I did a lot of work on this thing before, and we completed it. We did a really nice job with it. We still got to bring our vendors back and a lot of other things. I can't wait to upload this world to you guys whenever this world is done. 
it's just nice. Really, it is. I mean, I've done a lot of work on this, guys, and I really want to upload and share this world with you to see what you guys have to add to it. That would be really nice. Here's our gas station that we never finished. We will get back to this, guys. I needed something different to do. I wanted to come back and start getting some things done. So we just kind of got sidetracked and went out and started doing some stuff and things. We got our little crop plots over here. We got our power armor station and a few other stuff and things. It, it, it was fun. Really, it was. But you know what we should do while we are here? While we are here. Let's take a pit stop and let's look inside of this. Huh. Is that a large crate? You know what? That's a little bit better than this. I think we can take that with me. Uh, maybe we can bring this also. Um, let's see here. What else is in here? Um, we got lots of blueprints. We got some stone in here. Okay. You know, okay. We can stop opening it already. Um, we, we, we could use this thing so we can turn the stuff into glass mat material for us. There we go. That we can compact it down a little bit easier. So... We're going to come up here through the Badlands, guys. It's going to be a little bit... Uh, well, this was one of my favorite... I mean, my favorite projects that I worked on. It's not completely done, but we put a lot of work into this. And it is one of my favorite projects in this world so far. Here's our elephant. Hi! Hi! How you doing? Do you mind? Okay, <laughs> really, I put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this, guys, and it turned out very nice. I'm thinking I'm going to remodel all of my roads in the world to something of this sort right here. Um, go a little stone heavy on it. I mean, we do got clay in here, but, you know, it just kind of brings the world to life. There's our church. I know we will come back over here when we're finished with this with a few things mm -hmm. i really love this area i really do it's it's a lot of fun really it is it's so much fun i don't even know why we stopped but it's just it's just awesome guys really it is this place is a lot of fun to me i kind of love it a lot um we come through here we got Fallor city Okay, so if we get off of our horse here for a little bit and we look out this way, you can see we got this. It says Fallor City. It's supposed to be like a crooked sign, and it's supposed to lead out this way. So if we were to open up our map, if it can load up, all of this out here is supposed to be where Fallor City is. What we have built over here is supposed to be like the ruins of where everything, just like, it's like the post. Oh my gonna like the entrance all right it's supposed to be immersive like a really good entrance into Fallor City it's supposed to be one of my greatest projects and I never was able to finish it maybe we will at some time okay maybe we will um I need to get off my horse and get some water um can I thank you there we are all right let's go come on giddy up so what we're going to do is let's just continue going up this way a little bit. And there should be a desert up here, okay? So over here, nice big desert. Um, all of this needs to be turned into city. I want to add um, preferably not kitty cats. All right, let's get moving. Let's get into the desert at least. <laughs> All right, and this over here, this is our, this is something where I want to build something really cool in here, okay? This is supposed to be another part of the project. It's supposed to be super immersive. We built this, guys, and I have a plan for it. It's just kind of hard to uh, pinpoint what it is that I want to build there. However, I do want to hop out here a little deeper over here into the desert where we have all this at okay so we're just going to move out here just a little bit what are we uh
Oh, that's a first. Well, we're suffering from something. I guess we're too hot. Are we too hot? I don't know. Maybe we're too hot. I don't know. I don't have a clue what that is. So, Ryzen World added a few things into it, and I, I don't know. I just need a place I can do some mining. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, over in here, I'm not seeing any problems with anything. All right. It seems like a good place as any. Let's go ahead. Let's hop off our horse. Let's put our shirt back on. And if we take it off, we're okay. Okay, this is going to be fun. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's place this thing down. Let's hit one. Let's get this thing. We're going to place this down. And... I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this and just go one, two, three. I'm going to go one, two, three. We're going to add this thing in right here. All right, let's give me this thing. Let's go this. Let's go drill just one little spot out. There we go. Now we just need a bucket of water. Okay. Horsey, let's go find some water real quick. All right. Open up our map. Let's find some water. Right there. All right. Which, which direction is that? Right there. Okay. I could probably run this one. But I should probably keep my gun at the handy too. All right. Let's do this. Let's go find that water. Oh, it's sitting right here. Well, that ain't bad. Okay. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a spot for mining. We even got a place for water, but I'm just moving a single bucket because a single bucket is all you need. Now, if I hit crouch... All right. All right, let's try something here. Something's up. Um... One. There we go. Now put the bucket of water in there. There we are. Crouch. You can drink some water. Now if we put some food in my belly. Alright. If we put some food in our belly like this, we should be okay. Alright. Alright, let's set our crate down. Let's go ahead. Let's see here. What can we do with this thing? We're going to need to do something like, eh, maybe like this or something of that sort. All right, let's grab this. And while we're here as well, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit two. And I'm going to come across this thing like this. I'm going to hop up here one more time. And I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that hypothermia thing real quick. All right. So what we're going to do is just build a basic roof. All right. Something to get rid of that sun to protect us. All right. So here we go. So we're going to go like this. There we go. And there we are. All right. So now we can go like this. Boom. And we can go like this. Boom. Well, we don't even have to do that. We're safe right here. There we go. So we're safe from the sunlight. We're good. We can get water. We can craft our stuff. We can put it inside of here. And you can basically just tell the heat of the desert to, uh, well, <laughs> go do whatever it wants. Now, if we need sand, we can just go ahead and we can come out here and just start mining away. And I think that's pretty much all I have to do at this point. So anytime I start to get overheated, all I got to do is just work my way up there. But I got a shortcut for all this, guys. If I need a lot of sand, why am I going to stand out here for hours on end? Really, why am I going to stand out here for hours on end and do this? This takes entirely too long. What's the fastest way of taking care of that? Huh? What's the fastest way of doing that, you ask? Well, I'll show you. 
GM1. Now, let's go ahead, let's get that toolbar off. All right, and let's go ahead and let's go down here to turn that toolbar off, just like this. Now it looks like you're in survival mode. Okay, yay! And we can just do this. Hey, look, the desert is ours. Sand for days. Now, I don't recommend doing this if you don't want to, but this is the best way to collect sand. Um, you can just tunnel your way across if you really, really want to. But it takes a little bit of time. Sometimes it's a little bit CPU intensive. Sometimes it can make a little bit of a mess. And that's what the bottom of a cactus looks like. <laughs> that's what the roots of a cactus look like, guys. Ain't that something cool, huh? Yeah, that's pretty key. <laughs> Um, if we want to, let's see here. We can do grab this. No, nope, not that. Uh, wait a second. Can we do that? <laughs> we go whack it with a crowbar. All right, that's funny. Um, but we're here for sand. Really, that's exactly what I'm here for. I just need to be able to grab myself a bunch of sand. So I'm pretty much just going to wreck this desert. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use creative mode for this. If you guys prefer to uh, use survival mode, that is totally up to you. Me, if I need large quantities of something, I do not hesitate to hop in this creative mode for this. Because I don't want to be able to grind away for days on end. Alright, so let's say we need a lot of glass for one project. Well, let's see how much can we got. All right, we're good. Well, how many panes of glass can we make out of this? Okay. Let's see here. All right, we need... All right, whoa, that ain't going to work. All right, crap. No, we need to get out of this. So we're going to do GM0. There he goes. Let's go ahead. Let's open this thing up. And we need glass panes right here. Let's do max. Boom. Let's do minimum. Let's do max again. Boom. Okay, there you go. Now that's how much glass panes we just got with 64 and 32. Ouch! You big jerk. And we just got some steak out of the deal. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Can we please get the drill out of my hand? Thank you. Ah, first kill, first kill of the day. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right. Um, <laughs> let's turn that thing back on and let's get our bed. Let's put that thing out there. There we are. Nice and ready. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave our, uh, I think I'm going to leave him here. I wish I... I wish there was a way we can butcher him, but for right now, I think we're okay. There we go. We'll just go ahead and stuff his goodies inside of here. And we'll just go ahead and do this. Let's do max. Boom. There we go. And we can just start to compress our stuff up and make all the glass that we want for all our projects. So I need to quarry out here probably for about an hour. And I think this is where I'm going to end the episode early for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Ah, good night, little cheetah. Ah.